Should I do a reading vlog this week? I don't know. Maybe if something interesting happens. I don't know if you go for a run. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm tired as frack, but I'm doing it. All right, it's 8.29 a.m. Tuesday, May 1st. And I am currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I am about 150 pages in and I'm in love with it. I love everything about it. I really, I think fairies are my favorite like fictional mythical creature or whatever. I feel like the fairy story is my favorite type of fantasy story. So good. I love everything about the fairy realm and everything that's happening and I love Feyre and I love Tamlin. I have my course tonight, so I'm probably not going to have much time to read too much tonight, but I'm hopefully, I want to finish the book before the end of the weekend. This is only my 13th book of the year, which is terrible, <laughs> considering I read 50 books last year, but there you have it. I'll talk to you later. I have to go to work now. Bye. Man, weather changes fast, doesn't it? It was snowing a couple weeks ago, and it was frosting. It was actually Sunday. Two days ago there was frost on the ground that lasted until about noon and now it is 28 degrees. Whatever. Anyway I'm on my way to my course. I'm just waiting for Laura to come out of her house and then we're off to that. Good morning Richard. It's 6 35 in the morning and I feel like crap. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go running. But I'm going for a walk. At least I'm getting up and getting exercise, right? It's better than just staying at home in bed. No, I would like to, but I, uh, I really want to get into the routine of running again. Because I got really good at it in the fall. So I feel like if I don't go out and eat, at least just go for a walk, it's I'm, I'm not going to do it. So... <sighs> exercise in any way. Walks are good. It's really warm out except the wind is kind of cold. It's really weird. There's a sunrise over there. Off to work. So while I was at work reading this book, I read some stuff that has changed my opinion on Feyre. Uh, I think she's a bit of a twat now. <laughs> she's so stupid! She gets warned not to do things because of danger, and then she does them anyway, and then is surprised when the dangerous things happen. And it's ridiculous, and I want to punch her in the throat. Let's talk about this book. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything. So if you haven't read the book or the series, because the stuff that's pissing me off is actually because I've been spoiled for the rest of the series. So if you've read the first book, but not the rest of the series or something, don't worry, I'm gonna be vague. So if you've read it, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't read it, you probably won't know what I'm talking about, but whatever. So I haven't been spoiled for like, and here's the thing, everyone basically has been spoiled for the thing that I've been spoiled for because everyone talks about this part of the series all the time on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube as if everyone has read the books and as if knowing these things ahead of time does not hinder your enjoyment of reading any of the books, which it does. Um, I feel like if I didn't know the thing that I know, I would be enjoying this book a lot more than I am now. And I was enjoying it a lot earlier, but now that like certain things have come up, the more I read it, the more pissed off it makes me. I'm just super angry that the thing that happens later happens and that people think that it's okay. And I'm really, I'm really angry about it. And it's making me kind of not want to read the book anymore just because it's making me so angry. Like I still, like I wanna know what's gonna happen because I'm only, I'm on page 250, so I'm a little more than halfway through and there's like more shit that's obviously gonna go down, but I just, I don't understand and I hate this 
trope that now apparently seems to be coming a thing that people love for some reason. And I can't, I can't, it's, a, it's terrible <laughs> for reasons I can't say why without spoiling things, but I don't want to spoil other people's reading experiences because just this one thing, knowing this one thing has ruined this whole thing for me now. And I'm just at a loss for words, apparently. Tiptoeing feeling, eyes in the ceiling, your false intentions have worn them. But we've been in your room and in your closet too. I have a lot of feelings. For one, being spoiled for these little things that people spoil as if it's nothing. And as if like, like I feel like this is a big thing. It's not like, it doesn't, it's not like I know how the story ends or anything, but this type of spoiler is something that really ruins the reading experience. And I, for some reason, knowing all of these spoilers ahead of time before reading, didn't think, didn't think it would ruin it. I just thought it was like, oh, well, whatever. It's just a thing that'll happen. But because of the way things are in the first book, I feel like I don't agree and I'm super angry. A little heartbroken at this experience, also because my friend Amber is the one who convinced me to read this book and she was like, oh, the second one's way better. And I feel like, no, no. Good morning, booktube. Good news is it's Friday. But the bad news is I didn't go running yesterday or today. Because it's raining and I don't want to go running in the rain. <laughs> so I slept longer instead. Anyway, I'm on page 300 and something with the Court of Thorns and Roses. And it's really good. But it just continues to make me angry. <laughs> Burr. It's not even that cold, but it was like almost 30 degrees earlier this week, and now it's 8 degrees and raining, so it's chilly. Anyway, I have to go to work, but I wanted to mention that last night I posted the first chapter of Saving Mason, like I was reading it, so you can listen to it, and I will link it there for you, so you can check it out if you haven't already. It's also captioned, so... If I talk too fast or anything, you can read along, or if you're hard of hearing, or if it's just easier for you to read along, you can. I'm also going to try and caption all my videos from now on. It's just really time consuming, especially with longer videos, obviously, and I don't have that much time, but I'm gonna try. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say that it's Star Wars Day today, so may the 4th be with you, even though it's gonna be past Star Wars Day by the time you watch this, but whatever. There's like tornado warnings for this evening and my car literally just went from the wind. It's pretty scary. I think I'm going to edit a video and then I'm gonna read all night long. Guess what? I didn't read it all tonight. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm going for a run. It's eight o'clock in the morning, not too early, not too late. Nice and super sunny, actually. It's kind of blinding. All right, time to run. It's so warm out. I don't even really need my sweater, but I'm going grocery shopping, and I know if I don't wear my sweater, I'm going to be cold in the grocery store. So I have a sweater, and off I go. When I come back, I'm going to prepare some of the stuff. Like, I'm going to get some fruit and everything that I'm gonna pre-wash and put in like little containers so that they're ready for snacking and for lunches and stuff so it would be easier for me to snack on healthy food and then I'm gonna try and just read I feel like I went running I'm gonna go grocery shopping maybe I'll do a little bit of cleaning first and then read and then I won't feel bad about just like spending the rest of the day reading it's currently 10 55 in the morning I'll probably be back before noon it's my goal to be done everything that I want to do by 1 p.m. And then, then I'm just going to read. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> okay. I just finished A Court of Thorns and Roses. Uh, I'm really, really disappointed by the ending. It was such a cop-out 
super eye rolling, ridiculous, stupid ending. <laughs> We're super, super disappointed in that. And thus more disappointed in what is to come in the other books and also the stuff that I wasn't looking forward to to begin with. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. If I hadn't known about the things that I know, I would have absolutely adored this book to little bits. Except for the ending. <laughs> the ending was stupid. But because of the things that I knew, it ruined the experience for me for a lot of the book. Uh, for about half of it. Uh, I was still enjoying it. I still... I'm outside with the cat, by the way. Um, I was still enjoying it. I still liked a lot of stuff that was happening. But just knowing the things that were happening and the things that were then going to like come of the things I, ugh, it made me so angry. Gherkin. Me again. <laughs> I'm super incredibly disappointed with how this book turned out. I don't know what to rate it. I don't know. Because, like, on one hand, it's not the author's fault that I knew what was going to happen in the later books that was going to, like, hinder my enjoyment on on this book, right? It's not the author's fault that that happened. I feel like I shouldn't take any stars off because of that. But it's hard to tell at the same time how much more I would have enjoyed it if I didn't know these things. And then the ending. The ending was just... Why? Why? And it also kind of makes me not interested to read the next one, first of all, because, like, I feel like the story's over. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I have no need. I have, feel like I don't need to read anything else in this land at all, especially because I know certain things that are going to happen that I don't agree with. Anthony picked my next book out for me. I'm going to be reading The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. So that's exciting. But for now, I'm making corn on the cob. Good morning, booktube. It's 8.30. I'm going for my run. And I read about 20 pages yesterday of The Last Magician, and it's good so far. I'm intrigued. Um, so far, we're following two different people in two different time, two different years. I guess that's all. I don't have much planned for today. Just reading and probably cleaning up a little bit, making some lunches for the week. But for now, it's time to run. Oh my god, Coronation Street's on TV. Of course Coronation Street's on TV. I used to be addicted to this show. Like, slightly unhealthy. But that was like 12 years ago. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm watching it. Coronation Street always plays... Uh, well, because it plays like every week in the evenings, so two episodes or one episode or something. But then on Sundays, it plays all the episodes that played during the week on CBC. And I came in in the last episode and it ended with, well, like not a cliffhanger, but someone just like professed his love to someone. And it's two characters who were in it when I was watching it before. Um, so now I want to keep watching, but... That's it. It was over. That's the end of Sunday Coronation. So that sucks. <laughs> I have to go to Shoppers. I've been putting it off. And then, like, 10 minutes ago, I was like, no, I'll go tonight. I'm not going to want to go tonight. So I'm just going to go now. I didn't put on makeup. I didn't do anything with my hair. It's all whooshy and annoying. I'm just going. I'm just going to do it. I also, it's 2.40 and I haven't read yet. <laughs> all right. We have half an hour to kill. Let's go look at the books. Oh my god, I'm ridiculous. So while I was waiting for my prescription, I got new mascara and concealer and a new bottle of sunscreen. But then I also got this dragon. <laughs> what, like, he was only $7, but like, wh why? What do I need this dragon for? I don't need him at all. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Her boyfriend had a car that was half Acura and half something else. It's weird. I know, and I called it a Hacura. <laughs> I think it was a Honda and an Acura. How is that a thing? Well, he got parts or something. Oh. It's 
it's not even 10 o'clock and I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. <sighs> Anthony and I went out for dinner with some of his work friends and I read a little bit today. I know I said I really didn't feel like reading but I'm on page 38 of The Last Magician and it's definitely good so far. I'm I'm enjoying it. So hopefully I can read that this week. Maybe I'll do another reading vlog and talk about this book. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> For now, that's all. Bye. <laughs>